All right, I believe this is Keith. Um, he says, hey guys, quick site structure question. I'm building out an authority site for an affiliate business. I want to add a collection of sub niches and set up silos for them. Question, should I use subdomains for the silo sub niches or should I just use a category subfolder? Um, okay, I, Keith, I wouldn't, like if you're gonna silo collection of sub niches and set up silos for them, if you're gonna silo a site, I'm not sure why you wouldn't just silo it on the site, the root domain itself instead of like having separate WordPress installations, which is what you would have to have if you have them on subdomains or in subdirectory, subfolders like you mentioned. I'm not sure why you would want separate WordPress sites for all of those. Typically a silo means that it's all within the same domain, right? So you're, you're talking about site structure with categories, pa pages and child pages, and ultimately depending on whether it's simple silo structure or complex silo structure, but with the complex method, right? You're gonna have top level pages, child pages, and in posts but you have top level pages are corresponding with top level categories and then your child pages correspond with subcategories and then your posts just fall within those, right? And so that's all usually done within just one WordPress installation. I'm not sure why you're trying to separate those. Um, I mean, you could, but to me that would be a real pain in the ass publishing content. You'd have each time you wanted to uh, put, you know, publish content to a different silo, you'd have to log into a different site. And that's not a really efficient way to run it. Not only that, but I'm not sure, I guess with some internal linking, you could kind of link everything to where like, you know, you could sculpt how you wanted um, link equity to flow through the properties. And it, 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 but again, that's way more work than I'm willing to do. So I, I just would recommend that you just build the silos within the, the root domain, mainsite.com. Yeah, and actually the, the way that, that he has it set up without the the, what do you call it? The, the subdomain is is perfect. It's mainsite.com, then the sub niche. Yeah. And, and the sub the sub niche would be the the category that he'd be siloing. So that's yeah. how he'd set it up. Each each uh, sub niche would be a cat uh, a page as category. Right. And then the sub niche. But I mean, th this is perfect the way it is. You don't need to go a, a level, uh, you know, one more level where you would need a a subdomain. Yeah. So yeah, the the first example. Don't put no and no no folder. Yeah, no folder, no, because that that would be a separate WordPress installation, and that's what I'm saying. So let me just pull this up for one moment, because this will make it seem a little bit more sense. So if you say mainsite.com, what you would typically have is you would have your category, and you'd have your sub. If you're doing complex solid structure, right? So you would be subcategory, and then lastly, post. Right, that's how it would go if it's a, and if it's if it's a simple silo structure, it's just going to be one less level, right? Which would be category posts. That's it. All right, and this would all is all done on one WordPress installation, guys. And that's really, I mean, it's so much easier that way. You know, we only separate by subdomains when we're trying to separate assets, and that make there's there's times to do that, but uh, in a, in a in an authority website, guys, should all be done in one folder or one WordPress installation, in my opinion. Okay.